I think at the end of the day, the reason most people start an online lifestyle business is they want more freedom in their life. Personally, I'm interested in one thing, and that's oneness. In my world, that means dropping the facade, vulnerably coming out, connecting with all things, including yourself. I want to share with you today some of the little treats to being an entrepreneur that you may not have even thought about. And there are really three big things that I frequently look at um, in my daily life and as I am being during my day. And I love them because it really keeps me present and clear and focused on my prospect instead of going nuts in my head and lack and self-doubt about myself. So here they are. So. Tip number one is ask for clarity. You know, we're creators of our business. We're creators of our life. And sometimes we just need to really ask consciousness and the universe and everything for clarity. So step number one, get up in the morning, just say, you know, universe, what is possible today and really get clear on some of the awareness that comes in. Then step number two is to really look and ask about your potency of being. You know, there's kind of, I dubbed this company Arrow because there are, there's a space where we're in this lack and the self-doubt, and then there's a space when we're in the potency of all that we are. And when we waver, in our energy and our frequency, we really don't connect. But when we're potent in who we actually are, we really can connect. So just by asking your body, your energy, your space to connect with that potency, then you become more you. And then the last tip is to drop the facade, to come out vulnerable, to really step out of what you've currently known and be yourself instead of pretending you have to be this way or have to be that way. But what would it be if you could just vulnerably show up? So thank you and I'm so happy you're in part of this world and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.